Good evening Philippines, uh, welcome back again to our tropical weather analysis for this uh, Wednesday to Friday, December 16 to 18, 2020 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000, the Philippines first website on tropical cyclones. And let's begin with our update. Here's the latest uh, graph set. Begin today, Wednesday, until tomorrow, Thursday. The uh, prevailing northeast monsoon will continue to affect northern Luzon, including the Batanes and Babuyan Islands, as well as the Skarkburu Paratag Shoal and also the uh, Kalayan Island Group over the Spratly Kubob Islands. While the rest of the Philippine Islands, except for the central and southern parts of Mindanao, will be influenced by the prevailing northeasterly surface wind flow, or in short, northeasterlies, it's also known as a weak amihan and will bring some busy conditions with uh, partly sunny to partly cloudy skies with isolated to uh, uh, scattered rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly here across the areas of the Visayas and portions of Mindanao. And uh, as we look outside of the Philippine area of responsibility, we are closely watching this developed uh, shallow LPA just to the south of uh, Yap. And this is around 4 degrees and uh, north latitude and 136 east longitude. And this shallow LPA could become an active one or even a tropical cyclone once it crosses Mindanao. And most likely once uh, it reaches the, uh, the uh, Zulu Archipelago and Palawan as well as the southern portions of the West Philippine Sea it could become a, a tropical cyclone so we are keeping an eye on this and as you can see the trough is beginning to affect the areas of Palau and Yap Islands in the uh, Micronesian uh, group of islands and we have a uh, wind convergence we're going to discuss the shallow LPA in a short while as we move towards our fast animation, you can clearly see here the uh, northeasterly surface wind flow with, with some upper level or mid level clouds from the east, bringing some showers across the Visayas and also some portions of eastern Bigal region, while the northeast monsoon is uh, continues to affect the extreme northern parts of Luzon as well as northern Luzon. And uh, this is now the shallow LPA beginning to develop just to the south of uh, Palau entering Par so this could become an active LPA uh, within the next few days prior in making landfall over Mindanao as we look at our zoom in satellite animation from windy.com this is the uh, UMET sat you can clearly see here the effects of the northeast monsoon here the northern portions of the west Philippine and south China seas and areas of northern design so the temperature here is sl slightly down uh, from 23 uh, to a high of 25 degrees celsius while here is still normal temperatures the usual tropics uh, and temperature readings of uh, 28 to 30 degrees and we have here the northeasterly surface wind flow affecting uh, most parts of the country but with some easterly moving mid-level clouds and you can also uh, see here the uh, approaching shallow LPA moving towards Mindanao as we look at our uh, forecast this is the forecast from the ECMWF we are going to focus on the European model not on the GFS since this is more accurate when it comes to rainfall forecast this system uh, has lots of rain that could uh, bring some uh, uh, wet conditions across central and southern Philippines so by tomorrow Thursday afternoon the uh, shallow LPA will be uh, approaching the uh, eastern coastal areas of uh, Mindanao with some uh, rains and thunderstorms already affecting ex uh, the northeastern portions of Mindanao or over at Karaga region and uh, if we move towards Friday morning, the uh, shallow LPA could become an active LPA uh, traversing uh, Davao region. As you can uh, see here, these are heavy to intense rainfall 
occurring over central Mindanao from areas of Bukidnon, Caraga, and Davao region as well as Lanao provinces. So expect some possible flash floods and landslides during the passage of this LPA on Friday morning. While over uh, the southern portions of eastern Visayas, that includes southern Samar, Giwan, also uh, Tacloban, northern and the rest of later province, there could be some moderate to heavy rainfall. As well as the areas of uh, Samvanga Peninsula, uh, particularly in Samvanga del Norte and also Cebu, come Friday morning. And as we move towards uh, Friday afternoon, the shallow LPA will pass over the Samwanga Peninsula, passing uh, maybe around noon time over Cagayan de Oro. So expect some uh, heavy to intense rainfall on Friday morning. And in the afternoon, it will track towards the uh, Samwanga del Norte area, this shallow LPA, okay? So this is the trough with some heavy rainfall and thunderstorms uh, to intense rainfall as well and also continues to affect Visayas uh, on Friday uh, afternoon. So this is the forecast for the next two days and if we move forward on Saturday morning the uh, shallow LBA could become a tropical depression as it crosses uh, Palawan, passing over the central portion of the island of Puerto Princesa. So expect some rain conditions with heavy to intense rainfall, which could uh, cause some uh, flash floods or flooding in these areas, as well as landslides, and also uh, enhanced uh, easterly surface wind flow, bringing some heavy to intense rainfall as well across uh, eastern Visayas and some moderate to heavy rains over the eastern sections of the Bicol region. So that will be on Saturday. If we move towards Sunday morning, the uh, potential tropical depression will be over the West Philippine Sea, passing over Kalayan Island Group, and it's likely to exit the Philippine area of responsibility on Sunday afternoon. But you can also see here the enhanced uh, easterlies and northeasterly uh, monsoonal flow affecting the eastern sections of northern Luzon due to the uh, effects of this uh, LPA, which is enhancing, enha enhancing this uh, uh, rainfall over northern Luzon come Sunday. So this is the uh, forecast for the next uh, four days until Sunday. So, I hope every, everybody will be prepared over Mindanao and Visayas due to the approach of this shallow LPA. And it could become an active one in the coming days. So, stay tuned for more updates here at our YouTube channel and uh, also at our web, website Typhoon 2000. If it becomes tropical cyclone, we are going to issue some storm uh, updates, storm advisories as well as storm watches if it remains as an active LPA. But uh, this system, again, I repeat, it will bring some rains and thunderstorms across uh, Mindanao and Visayas and possible the enhanced northeast monsoon and easterly surface wind flow affecting Bicol region and northern Luzon through the weekend. So that's the latest from our... Uh, monitoring of this uh, shallow LPA. As we look at our global tropics hazards and benefits outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, you can see here that uh, the week 1, December 16 to 22, there is a high probability of a tropical cyclone formation. So that's the shallow LPA that we are observing. So it's now high, so there's a possibility that it could develop into a tropical depression, just a weak uh, tropical cyclone crossing uh, Mindanao and the portions of Visayas as well as Sulu Archipelago and Palawan but based on the European model it could develop into a tropical cyclone once it's once it enters the Sulu Archipelago 
in Palawan area or over or even over the West Philippine Sea. And if we look at our week 2, valid December 23 to December 29, there could be again uh, a moderate or yeah, moderate confidence or moderate chance of above average rainfall over the island of Mindanao for a possible of another LPA moving towards that area come Christmas time. So that's the uh, latest from the uh, Climate Prediction Center, the latest on the global tropics hazards, particularly over the Philippine Islands. And uh, that ends our weather update here at our YouTube channel, Mr. Typhoon. And we'll be returning again. We will be returning again on Friday to give you more updates on that LPA. And uh, let's hope and pray that it won't bring too much rainfall. But based on the model, it is likely to bring lots of rainfall over Mindanao and the Visayas. So please take all necessary precautions and prepare for the arrival of that LPA. So from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua reporting. Stay safe always. Be hashtag weatherwiser, hashtag typhoonwiser. And uh, thank you very much for watching our channel.